Hey, Speed Demons, let's look at how to turn a photo into a painting 100% PowerPoint without having to paint it yourself. So for example, taking a photo of a woman waiting for the subway and turning it into a cool painting effect. And notice here that I've extended out the background around the original photo to create a full screen visual image for the slide background. So this was the original photo. This is that full screen visual image, which I'll talk about a little bit later in this video. First off though, you have three different painting effect options to automatically turn any photo in PowerPoint into a painting, but it's super important that you recognize and don't forget the default styling options. A lot of people will give up on the different painting effect options because they don't realize that they could increase or decrease the intensity of the effect to create cool slide backgrounds here in PowerPoint. Now here are the three different options. You have the paint stroke option, you have the paintbrush option, and you have the watercolor sponge effect, which all of which we'll look at in this video amongst a bunch of other artistic effects. So let me quickly show you how this works. So I'm gonna take this photo, all right? This is a 16 by nine photo that I've cropped down uh, to create a full screen visual image. If you wanna see how to do that, check out my other video here on YouTube. So I wanna apply the paintbrush effect to this original photo. Do that, simply select the photo, Navigate up to the Picture Tools Format tab. Come to the Artistic Effects dropdown. Now, each one of the effects renders for you live when you hover over it, but they can eat up a bunch of your machine's power, so just be patient if you don't immediately see the effect. And I'll pick this Paint Brush effect. And before we look at adjusting the intensity, I'll hit Shift F5 to see what we already have. So this is the first default, all right? Just look at the guy's backpack. Look over here at the glacier and at the water as I flip between this and the original photo. So this is the original photo. This is the default paintbrush effect. So again, look at the iceberg, look at his backpack. You can kind of see that paintbrush effect or paint stroke effect coming into play. Now from here, if you don't like this paintbrush effect or feel that it's not painty enough, you can always come up to the Picture Tools Format tab you come to the effect options, and at the very bottom, artistic effect options, you have two core options to play with for each of the different effects. You have the transparency level, all right? 100% transparency will basically kill the entire artistic effect. So the less transparency you have here, I'm gonna go back to zero, the more of the effect that will come through. And then you have these brush size and intensity options, which are different for each of the artistic effects. This one happens to go from one, I'll type one and hit enter, which is hard to tell as we were just at two. So let me go and type 10 and hit enter, and you can see how much more of the paintbrush effect there is. And I'm just gonna quickly click through these. Just look at the photo and notice how it's slightly adjusting as I'm clicking down in the intensity level. So that's just something that you can play around with as you look at these different artistic effects. So let me just go back to full screen. All right, this is the effect we've added. Here's the original. Let me just quickly flip through a couple of these. So here's that paintbrush effect we were just looking at. Now it's right in the middle at five. Right Here's the paint strokes options, which as you can notice, has a tendency to make your photos super dark. So for this one, I really recommend using a lower level of intensity, maybe zero, one, or two. All right Here's what a zero looks like. And if I just flip between the two, notice how much lighter it gets. So don't give up on this paint strokes effect. Just because it starts out dark, you can adjust it to have this kind of lighter, cool effect. And here's also the watercolor sponge effect. And here, notice that it's a brush size of zero. What the brush size is indicating is how much of this little clouded stuff you see. So this is a brush size of zero. This is a brush size of 10. I'll just quickly flip between the two so you can see what that effect looks like. So those are your three different painting effect options. And if you wanna learn how to take a photo like this and not only add an artistic effect, but actually to build out around the photo, all right? So I built out around the original photo, which is great for title slides, divider slides, and content slides. Check out the links below this course for creating full screen visual images 100% in PowerPoint. Now, if you're new to my channel and wanna keep up to date on my latest PowerPoint hack trickery, so PowerPoint hacks, tips, and tricks to help get you to happy hour, make sure you subscribe here on YouTube. Or if you're just looking for PowerPoint resources to help get you to happy hour, like PDF cheat sheets, free mini series, or links to that full screen visuals course, just look for the links directly beneath this video. This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training, and I'll see you at happy hour.